Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. At this ceramics studio in Belgium, guests are greeted in six languages. Children and adults come here to master pottery making. Alexandra, the Ukrainian owner of the studio, has been practicing the craft of ceramics for eight years, but turning her hobby into a job wasn't easy. The taxes are harsh. From the first day, there are no indulgences or reductions for the first year here. So it takes a lot of nerve to do this. You never know for sure if it will pay off. From 8 a.m. until 4 p.m., the studio holds classes for children. They start learning about pottery by making simple objects. Yesterday we made sick creatures. Today we are making soap dishes. Step by step we will move on to cups and plates. This is what the children made last week, various sea molds. These are finished products which can be used. The items are decorated with everyday objects, soap bubbles, netting for fruits, lace, grass and poppy heads, anything which can leave an imprint on raw clay. Stamps with letters are the favourite instrument of six-year-old Alma. On all the items she makes, she writes the name of her younger sister. My sister is just a year old, but when I leave for classes, she wants to go with me. Alma is planning to give the pictures and the soap dish to her sister. The finished products can be taken home right away. At first, they dry on this shelf for a week. Then they go to a kiln. After the first firing, they acquire such a color. At this stage, we can cover it with paint and glaze. And then the products go to the kin for the second time. This time the temperature is between 1150 to 1200 degrees. After the second firing, the enamel melts and the product becomes glossy and water resistant. Alexandra's works, elegant porcelain pendants, dishes and vases are always on display. She plans to put them on one of the studio's windows and sell her handmade ceramics to anyone interested.